Our planet was set up so we could twist it, turn it, we could put down city streets, uh, which makes some of the um, cities, uh, people in Europe, for example, don't like their houses being photographed and so on, but the be the able to access that vast uh, wealth of information, our whole planet, I mean, we take it as a given, we've all used Google Earth, but in 2005, Sylvia pointed out to John, that's really Google Dirt, because they had done anything about the ocean, so he took that aboard, and uh, he's the father of Google Ocean, and what's really interesting about this, that is a lifetime sinecure, because uh, Sylvia and I don't agree quite a bit. I'd say 10% of the world ocean's been adequately explored, and Sylvia may say 5%. So what? There's a lot left to do. And here John is in charge of this at Google. I mean, he can go straight through to Social Security and retirement and still be working on the ocean problem. There's so much great stuff that we poured in that 360 million cubic mile volume of the world ocean. And what we don't know about the seafloor, I was just recently out and the Challenger Deep with uh, Jim Cameron, and uh, the information on the Challenger the, the information on the Challenger Deep that they have is stunning. It wasn't they, you know, I thought it was a pinpoint when I was out there 52 years ago, but it was a, a wonderful stuff coming up, and that's all going into Google Ocean. And we're going to see great things in the future, but it's pretty handy right now. And thank you, Sylvia, for giving it a kick in the shins there. And John, uh, as the father of this, could you come up? And I know you don't look quite like this. It's not a flattering picture. But, but thank you so much for bringing the ocean to all of us. Rocking people.